Gerard exposing Olivia for lying, calling and saying the police, saying that he hit her when he picked when he dropped the kids off. See, Gerard's story makes more sense than Livia's. That is so ridiculous. Put this stuff in her. I'm not gonna say nothing to you. I don't want to talk to you at all. I mean, I know it you makes him wonder how can he date somebody like that. When we picking up and dropping off, well, I told you I pick him up from school. You said no. You say you gonna have your mama to meet me. What's up with that? Tell your mama to meet me. I don't have to see you at all. You know, like now it's just about to get worse from here. If you can lie like that, bro, <laughs> you can sit here and say mm. I assaulted you. At the police station with two cops right there. First of all, when I first got to the police station, I was there. Probably about 10 minutes. And one of the cops, it was this black dude, one of the cops that was there when she said I kidnapped him. You know, he, he you know he was with the, another cop, the lady cop. And I said, what's up to him? He remembered me. And he kept going about his business. He came out. He didn't leave. He went to the other building. They were standing over there. Him and the same one. So, come on, man. You think I'm going to really assault you? <laughs> I'm going to assault you at the police station in front of the cameras. That's why I park where I park because the camera's watching everything I'm doing. And I'm going to assault you? Come on, man. I'm going to assault you and they, and they saw it and they let me walk away? We know she lying, Gerard. Just like I pushed you on the ground and I kicked you in your stomach. But you didn't say none of that when you said I kidnapped my kids and them seven cops was right there. You know, them seven cops was right there. You didn't say none of that. But you wait 10 days later and I get a call from the Largo Police Department. Oh, yeah, Mr. Well, Miss Johnson just came here and said that you such and such and such and such. I said, well, I said, sir, I left Florida the same night. I got there June 14th, June 15th. I was already back in Texas. He was like, well, she just came here. Nah, bro, that's 10 days later. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ten days later. That's well, you scary. She really, she really trying to put her out in jail. That's all she can Every time something don't go her way, that's what she say. I assaulted her all. And then a pregnant woman, she ain't pregnant. That girl just fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said that girl just that's fat. Assaulted a pregnant woman with some clothes. Okay. Well, you can't try to bribe Robert because Robert wasn't even at the car. Robert was still in the car with Antonisha. So, you, you, yeah, and Antonisha was right there. So, you can go and keep lying if you want to. You don't have no witnesses. I have a witness. And I got cameras that was there, you know. So, take out the charge. 
So go on try to deal Robin Hill that Rob did you see your daddy do this? Go on and do that to my child, because that's what you're gonna do anyway. Robin was still at the car and she Robin was scared to say bye because she thinking mommy gonna be. That's sad you putting those kids in it, Olivia. Huh? Bro, I didn't hit you. She kept saying I hit her. I didn't hit you. I didn't touch you. All I said was, damn, you can't help me. And then you're doing this in front of my kids. You're doing this in front of my kids, bro. All this, yeah, B, take your whole ass back to Texas. You're a child. I'm, I'm a bitch. Why you yeah, just if I open your door, bro, well. And first of all, when I walked up to her car, she acted like she on the phone. But as soon as I opened the door, she going off on me. Talk on the phone, bro. We ain't got to say nothing to each other. Be in your conversation. She saw me walking up to her car. She acted like she on the phone. I opened up the back door. I told Christian and Ron to get in. Get in. I opened up the passenger door so I could put their bags, because the clothes that I brought them and their shoes and stuff, and the stuff that they got when they was with me. I opened up the passenger door to put those bags. Yeah, Olivia, you're going to make your kids have to choose, and they're going to choose their dad. Because you are too toxic. Too toxic. Hey, at least come put the kids in. You know, like, then you're going off on me like this in front of my kids. Yeah. So the police saw me assault you, but they didn't see you get out your car. You came out the drop side, walked around the bank to the passenger side, and got all up in my face, going off on me. Like, what? <laughs> but see, a person like her, bro, she has no life. She got no friends. Nope. This is her. Y'all are her friends. Instagram and YouTube. If it ain't involving no dudes, she can't do nothing. Like, that's sad. Like, all the energy you put towards dudes, put that towards my kids. Yep. That's what I've been saying. You know what to do take my kids swimming. Come on, bro. They skin about to start peeling in a minute. What you mean? Like, do something more with them than swimming. Yeah, at least walk around the apartments with them or something. Yeah, take the dog walk. Come on. They ain't got nothing to go buy a leash. You such a boss. Go buy a leash. Oh, I can mail you one, it don't matter. The next time I get my kids, I'll go buy them a leash. Whatever they need for that dog. Like, I don't understand, bro. You, you steady coming for me. I don't understand. Your life is so wonderful and so happy. We should have no beef. We should be wonderful co-parents. <laughs> we ain't got to speak the mind. Like I said, man, the problem with kids are money. Well, the money is handled. Now it's just my kids. I don't need you for that because all that's handled it too, you know. You ain't got to tell me nothing about my kids because I know I already. You know, so it's just like, why? why? Like, this stuff is really sad. Like, yeah, it's pathetic, bro. Like, to the point, I'm not even mad. I'm just, I just feel bad. Like, I feel bad for me because she's trying to turn me down. Uh -huh. why? <laughs> why are you coming for me? All these other people that have done you wrong and all this, but you coming for me, the person that's here hit me. Yeah, I don't pay your bills. I don't, that's not my job no more. I don't pay your bills. So, what? If my kid, like, what you mean? If my kids need something, want something, like I told you, let me know. I just finally got your address, so yeah, I can send them stuff now. Uh, but the fact that you did that in front of my kids, and you keep talking to me like that in front of my kids. This sad. I'm good. sorry, you Gerard. Like, you can't do that. And I told you, you can't do that. I can't, I'm not going to be too many more of your bitches and your hoes and all this shit. I'm not, I'm not going to be that. But she probably didn't say that for you. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I opened the door, as soon as I opened the door, she said, bitch, don't my motherfucking door. Hey, I looked at her like, man, what? Like, I said, you see, I got all this shit in my hand. You ain't gonna help me. Yeah, here come Rob. Rob, give me your soda. I put Robert's soda in the front seat, too. Get in the car. Put y'all seatbelt on. Then she get out the car and walk around. She walked around the passenger. She came out the driver's side, walked around the bank, going off on me. At the police station, where the cameras at, in front of two cops. But I assaulted you. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm about to pull up to my house and take me a shower so I can go to work at 1 o'clock. I'm about to go to work in four hours. Just got off a plane. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I, I was spending money like a mother. Like, come on, man. I don't ask you for nothing. Hey, I, I text her Thursday. No, I text her Friday. Before, I, my, before my flight took off. I think that was Friday, and I told her, hey, I'll, can you just get them that toothbrush, toothpaste, and some soap? That's all I ask. She texts me back. Nah, get your own everything. Okay, that's exactly what I did. So she when my is flight landed at 10 a.m. in Tampa, Florida, I went straight to Walmart. 
I got my rental car, went straight to Walmart. I got it right there in my bag with me, all this stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't ask you for nothing. Uh, you can talk talk about that clothes that, that that we sent them back in. Because you sent my baby with this sleeping shirt on, with these big old sweats and these big old clown shoes. Come on, man. Oh, she, she, right, every, um, Gerard, you gotta go through a lot. Oh, yeah, like, comment, right? subscribe, turn on your post notification, so you know every time I'm gonna upload a video. This is, um, somebody, um, recorded Gerard's, um, Instagram. Oh, train wrecks of YouTube. And they, they have it on their channel. Kristen had a hurt up, but uh, uh, even all around, yeah, I took him back to the barbershop. We went Friday, and we got us a fresh cut. My kids had an amazing weekend. That's all that matters, but you, you growing off on me in front of my kids. Olivia, uh, you, you, boy, what did, uh, what, what's wrong with Stella? Somebody, they didn't raise you. They have raised your ass. Bye, you guys. Bye.